So I bought this x rental Toyota Hiace van as the Akataro Japan taxi for friends, toys and all the rest of it. It's a four-wheel drive turbo diesel, only just run in at 140,000 k. And the key thing is it's got nine seats, seat belts, and they all fold up out of the way when you need space for a motorbike or snowmobile or whatever. They're, they're amazingly practical. And I've been sorting it out with bits and pieces, um, summer tires, ladder and other gadgets, um, little things. And the last real piece of the puzzle was a stonking big roof rack. Came in a massive box, all I had to do was bolt on the brackets and throw it on top. Very easy job, especially when you've got an electric hoist to lift it up and down. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I'll tell you what could go wrong. You could have a stupid idea like trying to do an amusing stunt with a quad bike. The first part of the amusing stunt went perfect. Lined the van up the loading ramp at the right distance, warmed up the little Suzuki and nailed the landing first time. No damage to the rack, no damage to me or the van. But then I couldn't restart it, so I couldn't jump it off the front of the roof rack to unload it, which meant we had to lift it off the roof rack with the hoist. So we got it lifted up about knee height off the rack and then somehow got the power cord for the hoist, hooked on something and ripped it right out of the control now box, what? tripping power to the shed and killing the hoist. Luckily the only damage to the hoist seemed to be two wires pulled out of their connectors so we stuck them back in and pressed go. But do you think that worked? No, that cheap shit piece of Chinesium crane lift would not come back to life. We dismantled it, checked every wire and fuse and connection, but it was stone cold dead. So there we were with a quad bike dangling a foot above the roof rack and no way to move it up, down or sideways. Then I had a brainwave. Just grabbed the Yanmar excavator around the corner and lift the bike off the hoist with a strap. But the bike was too high in the air for the digger arm to reach, so we had to get it back down onto the roof rack and drive the van outside again before we could use the digger to lift it off. The little Suzuki is not that heavy, so we did manage to unhook the straps and lower the buggy back down onto the roof rack without destroying anything else. But then I remembered the first rule of crisis management, which is think about what could make it worse and don't do that. So my mind filled with the image of the digger smashing into the van, dropping the quad bike, and having the whole lot roll down the hill and explode in the forest, setting fire to a million acres of bush and ruining my new roof rack. So we abandoned that plan. Then I had another brainwave of just driving up the road to my other barn and using the chain hoist there to lift it off. But I forgot that the door on that barn is lower. So when I drove up to the barn with the quad bike on top of the van, I couldn't get the van in with the quad bike on top. And then I thought of driving down the road to my mechanic shop and using their chain hoist. But the, frankly, the thought of showing up with a quad bike stuck on the roof rack was... I couldn't face it. And anyway, it was Sunday, so they were closed. Then I had yet another brainwave, realizing that the buggy was nearly at mezzanine height, sitting on the roof rack. So if we backed up the van to the mezzanine, we could just lift it onto the mezzanine snowmobile storage deck. Of course, if we... If we'd had any real brains, we would have done that when the hoist first broke. Just pulled the whole shebang along the beam to the mezzanine. But, you know, um, I was fixated on the idea of buggy down. I've got to get the buggy down. So I didn't think of sending buggy up. And today was not a brainy day. Maybe tomorrow will be. Anyway, that's what we did. And it was easy. We should have done it in the first place. And then we rolled it down the stairs. Wasted another hour trying every damn thing we could to make that shitty cheap hoist work again. Gave up called it a day. Not a brainy day, a pointless day that started with an easy 45 minute job fitting a roof rack to the X rental highest van and ended up as four hours and 400 bucks worth of cheap Chinese hoist down the drain purely because I had a brainwave and thought I would do something amusing with a roof rack and a quad bike. And that stupid stunt makes me a stupid